Well, what's going on everyone? Thanks for checking out another of my videos. Just got off work on a Friday afternoon. Goal is to go catch some dinner instead of sitting on the couch and ordering some pizza. Wife and kids are out of town and what a better way to spend the afternoon. Miss being out on the coast. First video of 2024. So I want to wish you guys a happy new year. Excited to get by the water again. This is like my therapy. Love listening to the coastline. Not the cars going by, sorry for that noise. Um, and I got a pretty cool new electric scooter I want to show you guys. It's from Varla. We'll be more on that soon here, but that's what we're going to be taking out to the fishing spot today. And we're going to be doing a catch and cook. We're getting a lot of requests for that. So brought this pot and the stove out. That's squid. That's our bait. We will be using it in these crab snares. So we're going to be throwing everything in that bag and riding out to the fishing grounds here. We also wanted to give you guys some updates on the channel. What's going on? If you guys saw my last video, you saw I'm selling my boat. Um, bittersweet. That one's going away, but I am getting a new one. That should be ready in about March, maybe April. Um, so when we get a little closer, I'll get more details on what I'm getting exactly, and we'll have a video on that. Um, what else is going on? We got the Sacramento show coming up. If you guys are going to be there, I will be there uh, the Friday the 19th. Um, so just a few days after this video post, uh, I'll have a schedule and description of the booths I'll be at sometime so we can do a meetup and uh, meet some of you guys if you're interested. Always like you know, meet with the people who are watching the videos. We're gonna get situated here, get everything on the scooter. So I just recently got this bag as well. Fits on the scooter really well. A lot of purposes for this. I mean, it would make a great bag in like a garden, for garden tools, camping, picnics, fishing bag. Um, it's very lightweight, only one pound, lots of storage, good size. It's also folding. So right now I have it open, but if we had everything out of it, so it's collapsible, folds up for easy storage, and uh, opens up really easy with these two bars. Slide them on either side there, and we got our bag. So we'll go ahead and load our bag up right now. Got our squid for bait, using the uh, crabber grabber crab snares. Go ahead and throw those in our bag. So you're gonna have to see once we catch our crab, hopefully, what we're gonna have for dinner. Always bring a pair of pliers and a knife when I go fishing. Extra GoPro batteries. And you can't go for crab without a crab gauge. If you guys are interested in this bag or want to learn more about it, I'll have links in the description. Um, Tom Shoe offers a wide variety of outdoor products, so I'll definitely go ahead and check them out. So of course I could drive the truck to the fishing spot, but where I'm going, parking's really tight. And this thing's a lot of fun to ride. So the first thing we do is just unclip that. Our handlebars will come up. And then we fasten that right there and that'll lock our handlebars in place. I really like this bag because it fits perfect on the scooter. So we got the scooter all loaded up now. I wanna tell you a little bit about it before we get out there. So it has dual 1000 watt motors. It's enough power to climb a 30 degree hill. It has five gears to allow you to get up to a top speed of 40 miles per hour. That's right, this scooter can go 40 miles per hour. So it has high performance dual hydraulic brake system to ensure you have a safe and smooth sudden brake. Dual shock absorption. So check out, you got shocks in the back and the front for a nice smooth ride. So it's equipped with 10 by three and a half inch air tubeless tires. These are high quality rubber tires so designed to be puncture resistant and pressure resistant. The scooter can hold up to 330 pounds. It has a waterproof rating of an IP54, which means you can ride it in the rain and it can get wet and you can get over 40 miles per charge on it. it comes with a big headlight that we're blocking at the moment and also has brake lights down below. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump on the scooter and get to the fishing grounds and hopefully we can catch some dinner here. And we're riding on the road, got the helmet on. Lucky hats, going in the bag. So you use this NFC card to get it started. Let me show you how it works. It comes with two of these. You push the power button down, and then you slide the card over the screen. And it starts right up. Now we're ready to go. All right, we're off. So it has five gears. We're on one right now. We're going six miles per hour, if you can see that. We can go to number two right now. Get us a little faster.
All right, well, we just made it to the fishing spot here, getting situated. Got our crabber grabber snares, of course. They also have these uh, weights that attach to it from them. Spider weights, they call. I guess they plant themselves in the sand a little better so they don't roll on you as much. My squid is still really frozen, so I had to cut it into pieces. Always nice using bait you caught yourself. So this is squid I caught last year in Monterey. All right, first cast. Unfortunately, there's all this trash here. I guess we'll blame the uh, big waves we've had recently washing this stuff up here, but come on people, if you're coming out here and leaving all this trash, what are you doing? Uh, cherry punch hybrid. Is that trash you're picking up? Yeah. I've got some too, but your bag looks kind of small. Yeah, I was just gonna bring it home with me. One of the funniest things to me is when people pick up their dog poop with the bag and then throw it on the ground. It's like, well, I think it'd just be better if the poop was left alone, yep. not put in the bag and left. So right now we have a slow incoming tide, not a lot of current, which is good. And our rod tip's got a little bounce in them. Might be some Dungeness feeding on it already. Let's go ahead and check them. It's only been about 10 minutes. Those are way too small. Well, they're getting a little bigger, but it's a female and not big enough anyway. I'm not be a keeper. Nope. Well, maybe actually. Nope. All right, I think we got our first keeper here. Oh yeah, over six inches. Nice. All right, well we're gonna be cooking this guy up in some fresh salt water here. Let's go grab some. Well, my most asked uh, request lately has been to do a catch and cook. 
So here we go guys, I'm going to show you my crab sandwich. Craft beers? Yeah, I'll have one. Thank you very much. They got soaked in salt water, so no worries. Thank you. So this is what it's all about Friday after work. Go catch your dinner, make fishing friends, they give you a beer. Life is good. I got a YouTube too, dude. Do you? Yeah. What is it called? Uh, Dink Daddy. Dink Daddy? Yeah, Dink Daddy. I All make right. my own lures. Hold up. Take some, dude. I know wow. Roxy, uh, rock fishing isn't open for uh, yeah. the boats. So check this one out. This is my uh, cannabis. It's got cannabis in it. Oh, wow. Yeah, you can see the actual vegetation in there. When it's, uh, when I pour them, when they're, when they're new, this one's kind of old, but when they're new, you could smell it. It smells like really? weed. Really? If I leave it in my car, people think I, I don't smoke, but people think like I smoke. When I make them in my garage, people think I'm like hotboxing the garage. Oh, wow. Yeah. I have We've to gone. try that one out. Thank but, you. Yeah, take them, dude. All right on. What was your name? Juan. Juan. All right. Well, Juan gave me the beer. Thank you. Yeah, cheers. And what was your name again? Andy. Andy. Cheers, Andy. Cheers. Thanks, Juan. Yeah. Water's boiling. Let's go ahead down and uh, we'll dispatch this guy. All right, so we'll give him a stab right there. He's out now. And we're gonna go ahead and rip that off. So we're gonna have to go ahead and save the carapace here as top part. And in case fishing game were to come by and wondering what we're eating, the size of our crab, we'd have to show them that. So we'll boil that guy for about 15 minutes. I think just a few more minutes, almost done. can go ahead and pull the snares now and start getting ready to make our sandwich. All right, let's start getting the meat out of this guy. Man, this crab is tasting good. Mmm. If you haven't cooked crab in the, the ocean water yet, gotta try. I feel like it makes the crab come out the perfect flavor. All right, we got all the crab cracked. Let's get salt and pepper. More pepper than salt probably needed. And then I got my bag of celery and onion chopped at home make it easier out here oh, I'm gonna have some mayonnaise I don't need tons that's probably fine we can add more and I do like lots of lemon juice oh, yeah. Chris. Good nice meeting you, meet man. You, yeah. you too. Have a good one. You good too. Luck. Yeah, thank you. Good job on getting your two. Thank you. All right, we'll just mix this guy up. I mean, you don't got to mash it up too much. Just mix it good. And if we got some nice chunks of crab in there, that's all good. So there's our crab salad. Hawaiian roll. Mm. 
Bam, nice fully loaded, look at that. What a great way to end the day, getting our one crab that we wanted. Thanks to our uh, video sponsors today. Awesome scooter, this bag worked out perfect on it. So I'll have links in the description if you guys wanna go ahead and check out that scooter in the bag. And we'll go ahead and enjoy our sandwich right now. <laughs> what a day. So beautiful. You can go ahead and say bye to you guys now. Thanks for checking out another of my videos. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one, and we'll catch you on the next one. All right, later, guys.